Hi guys, I'm Tay. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm just going to be going over three really easy ways that I increased my milk supply when I started breastfeeding my daughter. So let's get right into them. So the very first way that I increased my milk supply is something that I actually talked about in my video about using the breast pump and that is power pumping. And I did not power pump for very long, but when I first had my daughter, I was very concerned that I wasn't going to be producing enough milk. And so I did power pump. Now, the way that I personally power pumped was I would do five minutes of pumping on each side and then I would stop for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, I would do five on each side again, wait another 10 minutes, and I would do that four times. So it was like a little over an hour. And by doing this, you are telling your body that you know you need, your body needs to make more milk, that it's calling for more milk. One thing I actually forgot to mention on the power pumping is that another thing that you can try is to adjust the time that you're pumping. So if the five minutes each side doesn't work for you, bump it up to 10 or wait 20 minutes between power pumping sessions, stuff like that. So it is something that you are able to personalize a little bit to you based on what works best. And so I only did this once a day because I was exclusively breastfeeding my daughter. So I would say that if you are giving your baby bottles, maybe you could get away with power pumping twice a day, but I would recommend only doing it once a day because it is kind of intense, especially the beginning of your breastfeeding journey because you are already kind of sore, it's something new. And so I did power pump for a little while. And a few things that I wanna mention about power pumping is like I said, I would only recommend doing it once a day, but two, even if milk isn't coming out, you need to continue to do the pumping unless it's super, super painful and then you should stop. But if, if no milk is coming out, again, that will be telling the body that it needs to be making more milk than it is currently making. And that is what causes your milk supply to go up. The second way that I was able to increase my milk supply is through my diet. And really two key things is that I really increased my protein intake and I really increased my fiber intake. Now, the way that I did this is for protein, I did a protein shake, protein smoothie every single day. I did rotate between a couple different protein powders. There is one by Ritual that is actually a postnatal protein powder and it's a vanilla flavor, it's really good. And then I also tried and still to this day use the Vega salted caramel, which is very, very good as well. There are obviously a long list of foods that are high in protein and so I did incorporate some of these as well but the main way that I increased this was through protein shakes because honestly that was a lot easier for me at the very beginning especially it's honestly sometimes hard to find time to eat and so it was just so much easier to just make a protein shake and just go with that for my fiber intake again i went with what was easy and i actually started drinking a glass of metamucil every morning and metamucil is something that i have had before pregnancy i still have it i don't take it every single day but when i was trying to increase my milk supply i did make sure that i had it every single morning there are obviously again a long list of food that are very high in fiber as well so if you just want to go about it with actual foods instead of the metamucil that is completely fine, but the protein shakes and the Metamucil is just what was easiest for me. The third and final way that I increased my milk supply was actually just letting my daughter nurse for a really long time. I think that it kind of had the same effect as power pumping, as in like whenever she would fall asleep, I would just let her sleep still latched. And then like obviously she would like suckle a little bit even when she was sleeping. She wasn't necessarily drinking, but I would leave her on there. And again, I think it kind of stimulated the body the same way that power pumping does. That is just something that really worked for us. I personally never tried any of the like lactation cookies or the lactation teas, or I think that they have like, they can just have it in like pill form and stuff. I never did anything like that. These are really the only three methods that I tried. I personally didn't really struggle with a low supply. Like I said, I was just very concerned that I would have a low supply, and so I did use these when I felt like, you know, when I was pumping and 
you know, storing it in bags. If I had a day where I didn't supply as much or two days where I didn't supply as much, then the next few days I would really increase the power pumping. I would increase the protein, the fiber and stuff just to get my milk supply back up to where I was comfortable with how much I was storing. Another thing that I want to add is that obviously everybody's breastfeeding journey is going to be completely different. It is so personalized and specific to you and your baby. And so just because these things work for me doesn't mean that they're going to work for you. I also am not a professional lactation specialist, anything like that. Like I said, these are just the three things that worked for me. And I hope that you can give these a try. They're super easy. They're probably things that you can do with stuff that you already have at your house instead of going out and buying, you know, the special lactation stuff and all that, which is why I wanted to share them with you is because hopefully if you're looking for a quick fix to try to boost your milk supply, I hope that this really helps you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen this video right here, I would go ahead and watch this one next. I would love it if you could subscribe so that you could see my videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.